So this is born in Lincolnshire, a town in the wetland region known as the Fens, which covers part of the counties of Lincolnshire, Norfolk and Cambridgeshire. The quiet market town doesn't look like the kind of place where you'd find a fearsome freedom fighter, but it was here that Heriwood the Wake was born in around 1035. Heriwood, an Anglo-Saxon nobleman, ultimately became an early and effective thorn in the side of the invader William the Conqueror and his Norman troops. Using the Isle of Ely as his base, Heriwood roamed the Fens, attacking those loyal to William after the Normans were said to have executed his brother and impaled his head on a spike at the gate of his house. In revenge, Heriwood is said to have caught up to the by now drunken Normans and he and a companion killed 15 of them. 1069 or 1070, Heriwood is thought to have allied with the forces of Danish King Swain in the sacking of Peterborough Abbey. He then joined with Morcar, the Saxon former Earl of Northumbria, to continue the resistance to Norman conquest. The Normans eventually repulsed the forces of Morcar and Heriwood, and they fled to Ely to make what might have been a last stand, but for some alleged heroics on the part of Heriwood. Temporary sources claim that the Normans, led by Belasius, made a frontal assault along a mile-long timber causeway, but the weight of the heavily armoured knights and horses caused the timber to sink. The Normans were then said to have resorted to supernatural means to defeat the Anglo-Saxons. They placed a witch high in a wooden tower and she hurled curses and insults at them. Heriwood was said to have managed to set the tower alight with the witch still inside and brought the whole edifice crashing down. Ultimately, the English under Heriwood and Morcar were most likely betrayed as the Normans bribed local monks who revealed a safe passage across the marshy landscape and allowed them to capture Ely and Morcar. The Normans were said to have built the magnificent Ely Cathedral on the spot of Morcar and Heriwood's stand. But Heriwood escaped into the Fenland and was never officially seen again. There are many legends and embellishments of Heriwood's tale and some historians believe these helped to form the later legend of Robin Hood, it is also claimed that Heriwood's parents were Leofric, Earl of Mercia, and his wife, Lady Godiva. There are also legends about what became of Heriwood following his escape from Ely. Some say he was killed by a retinue of Norman knights, others that he went into exile, possibly in Scotland. The most romantic explanation is that he lived on as an outlaw in the Fens. What do you think became of Heriwood? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.